A West Matthews senior spent just two seasons with the Lakers, but made them both count, winning back-to-back -back titles in 1987 and 1988 during his time in Los Angeles. Man Matthews was a key member of the bench unit, backing up Magic Johnson at point guard. And our Jim Hill caught up with him this week on Legends to look back at his time with the Purple and Gold. Wes Matthews, you're the perfect example of giving an outstanding talent a chance to play, and he'll do his thing. Two years, and you were two for two. Both years, you were there to won the championship. That's amazing. Well, I'm still a little upset with Jerry West for letting me go that third year because we would have three-peated that year. But that was the ultimate time for me. Once I was, was uh, Pat Riley and Jerry West called me and said I'll be part of the, the Lakers organization. It was a dream come true for me. Uh, I've always played against Magic in college, and and I finally got to be a part of his team. And, and it was just something special about that unit. And uh, Pat Riley, he orchestrated that. And, you know, Magic, and Magic had the keys to the car, man. The years you were here, you were backup for Magic. So you didn't get a lot of playing time. How did you keep yourself focused? How did you stay in the game? What was, what was your main duties knowing that Magic was going to play most of the time? Well, my main duties was to keep him sharp, you know. And, and, and we, we have a running joke. Like, he got half of, the, half of the MVP and I got the other half because a lot of people don't know that behind the scenes, you got to practice. You know, we practice just as hard as we played in the game. So people didn't realize that. Pat Riley was a stickler on practice. If you look at most championship teams, their second unit has to be as good as their first unit because they have to prepare that first unit. And, uh, you know, one day, I'm John Stockton. And during the playoffs, I was the Isaiah Thomas. So I had the freedom to do everything they did. So... Magic and, and the rest of the fellows would know what the idiosyncrasies and what their tendencies were. So I couldn't ask for a better bunch of guys to be around, man. And, and, and that team was that team was really special. In your mind, what was the high point of your of your time with the Lakers? That parade, man. <laughs> that parade was <laughs> awesome. And our basketball fans from the world champion Lakers, Wes Matthews. Here we are again. Back again, it's a great feeling. To me, it was the best time of my life, best part of basketball for me, because not only was I a part of that, they taught me how to be a professional. When you came to the Lakers, there were uh, family additions that happened and came at the same time. On October 14th, I signed my deal with the Lakers, and my son, Wesley Matthews Jr., Wesley DeWitt Matthews Jr., was born on that day. And so, come full circle for him to wear a Laker uniform last year was like a treat and a dream come true, man. And now Matthews for three. Yes, rattles one home. How many fathers just say their son has played on the same organization? You know, unfortunately, he didn't get the ring, and I'm still hoping they make that call and call him back because they can use a little help for a little defense right now. But that was one of my greatest highlights was signing on that day, my son being born. Here we are, fast forward 30 years after the fact that my son was wearing a number nine uniform in the Lakers. And of course, you you immediately, or as soon as you could, wanted your son to meet to meet some of the Lakers, like Magic, Kareem, and, and Pat Riley. We had an exhibition game two to three days after in San Antonio. And so we flew back to San Antonio, and they picked us up from the airport, and the first person that grabbed them was Magic. So he has pictures with Magic holding them, Kareem holding them. I mean, he's not even 48 hours old, and he's been anointed by the basketball gods. What did playing for the Lakers do to you and and helping you to become the, the terrific father, family man, and the terrific individual that you are today? I had the greatest job in the world. I love L.A. I, I love L.A. my life for, for allowing me to be a part of that world championship team. As you can see, I've still got my Laker gear on every single day. You know, I'm, 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 a, I'm a purple and gold through and through.